So I ended the last video um, with having done my first pass on the front of the cheeks and above and around the eyes. Now I'm going to do the front of the crust and uh, of course I'm going to go back to my uh, also I have a problem with the hand piece pulling on the back end. Um, I solved that problem just by wrapping the cord up in my hand, having it come out um, through my palm instead. So, got my burner on. Really nice temperature. So as I burn the front of uh, just along the top of the bill, just, I don't want to go any further than the bill. I'm going to try to maintain the same rows that I'd seen laid out earlier before I uh, textured it all. This is all penciled in. I was pretty happy with the last video. Wasn't too much that was out of the camera view. I'm being a little more particular now as I get up into these larger feather clumps. I want to burn them as such, so. I sure hope you can see. I think you can though. Want to be sure and end those barbs with a little twist at the end. Don't want just really long lines. These are individual, small individual feathers. So as I would burn, mm -hmm. I'm keeping track of um, all of my little feather clumps.
trying to get things even again. Even though these are longer videos, I'm not going to go the speed burn one and a half times or 1.75 times. Um, burning's a slow process. So I try to talk about things that might be important when I'm making video like this for you. Insert some tips here and there. helps to have the light right, kind of like when I was texturing, it was important for me to have the light right so I could actually see what I was doing. Now I need it so I can see what I did and use my wood burner to just refine it all, not change it. Some grain line going on there. I'll take care of that when I'm done with my first pass. I'll take care of that on the second pass or maybe the third. <laughs> Tupelo is so soft that it'll actually move with the heat of the wood burner. So, you can get away with doing a lot with the, the twist of your wrist and the tip. And a lot of people say, oh, it takes way too long to do all this wood burning. But, if you you're a decorative carver, you have to, for the most part, um, texture your birds out. So, I mean, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. That's my philosophy. So I'm, I'm finding each one of the little clumps that I left behind and wood burning the contour of them in right in. So they actually look like they're clumps. Doesn't show so much in the front here, but as we get to the larger feathers in the crust it'll be more predominant and this would our <laughs> redhead drake is excited he is trying to find a girl
see how I'm picking out those feather clumps. Stay even from side to side. I'm going to, you know, get down deep into some of these splits that I've already created with my uh, texturing stone. And uh, try to do it evenly. Hey, can you see right here? That's like a grain line. I handle those by just kind of going after them uh, right along the grain line when I come back on my subsequent passes. I say that I hunt them down, and I do. So I don't want the grain line to, to show um, if you don't be diligent about um, getting rid of the grain lines the first stroke of um, sealer and sometimes you don't see it until it's the first base coat color going on and all of a sudden you have these huge grain lines you never were expecting so expect them look for them and get rid of them so they don't affect you.
It's a little bit harder on this side of the head, or at least in this area. And by the time you've gotten to this point, you've drawn this pattern so many times. I mean, of the feather layout, the little feather clumps. You just know what you're supposed to be doing. Because it's become so familiar. When I first started carving, I would find myself forgetting to check my reference measurements. Reference measurements. Oh my goodness. Nobody can afford to lose sight of that and expect to do well or be accurate at least. Not everyone competes, but being accurate is a competition for it in itself. <laughs>
Okay. Of course, I'll be coming back and uh, cleaning everything up, catching up what I missed. And you do. You can't not miss. It just happens that way. Oh, I just want to leave off evenly. It's going to be the end of my day.